well, well. Here we are again. Thursday morning, 25 October, ECB day today. Mr. Draghi is going to do his dance. Let's, uh, let's talk about what's going on so far. Risk off, obviously. I'll give a shout out to my buddy Dave in New Jersey. He just sent me a little note last night after the close. Quick sentence. This feels real to me. Uh, this is real. This is not going away. That is a bearish, bearish close in equities. 26.70 now. Getting close to that sort of 10% off the highs. Let's keep in mind this probably goes another 10%, so that's another 250 handles. Puts us down at uh, 2410. Way down here. That'll be down 20%. not short equities yesterday, uh, so that was a shame. We were, we were looking at other things, but uh, that said, this is, that's a very, very bearish day, and things are looking grimmer and grimmer, or more grim and more grim. Let's talk about the stuff we were involved in, dollars are at the budget. Uh, if you were quick, you could pay 22s, 23s there, as you saw at Flickr. If you were less quick, you paid 27s. Point is, massive bullish engulf here, closed at the highs. Equities are off. Doesn't look too good for the for the rand. Uh, today's a buy on dip. Should be support in the 45 area. 14.45 is your buy target to make a new high today and further upside for dollars are. Let's talk about Euro. Smashed through that 114.39 area that we aptly labeled the sledgehammer zone. The first minute was a bit hectic. Down to 26, up to 49, down to 28, up to 46. And then it became pretty reliably offered, as you can see on the hourlies. 80 the low. Question is now going into Draghi. He's got to balance this, right? He sees the numbers out of Germany, uh, which was the catalyst yesterday. They're weak. He sees growth weakening in Europe. He certainly sees. Uh, where the BTP boomed spread is. So he has to be careful, cautious, uh, and let's say supportively dovish today. So what does that mean? It probably means there's a little silly squeeze up to 40 or 50 in Euro, 114, 40, 50. But then at the end of all of... Uh, all of the press conference and all the questions and answers, um, Euro will continue lower and make a new low today. So I would say carefully short Euro is the way to go. Carefully short Euro Yen also the way to go. The problem with Euro Yen, as we all know, it's been a bit hectic uh, the last five days. You can see it's choppily lower. So. We zing down, but then we zing two-thirds of the way back up. Zing down, two-thirds of the way back up. Zing down, halfway back up. So now we've zinged down here. No reason to believe this isn't just going to, you know, squeeze back up to 128.50 for really no apparent reason. Um, we want to try and be carefully short Urien as well. And Euro Yen, I can say from experience, uh, on this whole move down from 
from 133. Selling high ones uh, has paid. This is the day here that selling low ones really paid. That was through 130.50. Um, but selling high ones seems to be paying better in Euro Yen. I guess this day also. 129.10. But as you can see, we, we zipped back up to 130.17. Um, that was that really big squeeze on the Friday. Anyway, so I have some ammo in the trunk. 128.50 area. We look to uh, sell some euro yen. Let's check crude. We're not really trading crude right now. We intuitively hate crude for a number of different reasons. Um, so it's always fun when it gets crushed. Look at that. 69.50 to 65.85. Year's lows, 64 bucks. That sort of has car crash written all over it. I'm no expert crude trader, but this will be very, very, very important to $64. Uh, and that's the light sweet crude uh, that we trade here in Europe. What else is there, dollar yen? We nipped through 111.90 last night, but didn't really break cleanly. I mean, obviously, with equities collapsing, dollar yen took a little trip south. The clean, uh, the clean point was 112.30, so this will be resistance today. 112.05 now is kind of the middle of nowhere. We want to look to sell this thing up at 112.30. If you look at the dailies, this 111.60 is is beckoning. But also, if you look at the weeklies, and we started talking about this with this magic bar here. This is going to do what this did here. So at the beginning of 2018, we were at 114.46. We went all the way down to 104. Now we're at 114.60. We're going to go all the way down to 104. So, of course, short. Tarian looks the way. Um, and the next acceleration point, 111.60. One of the conundrums with all this is Aussie. I don't know why Aussie uh, is not going lower. Printed 55, and then bounced. I, hadn't, I didn't even look to see if there are Aussie numbers last night. You guys can check that out. But the reason I bring this up is on this big risk off wave, where China is really a big part of this problem. Uh, Aussie should be under the cosh. So, we're quietly waiting. This 70.55 level, obviously there's a buyer there. Once that breaks, should bleed to 70.40, which then, um, here's the dailies should then get us down through 70 and all the way to 68.33. So we're, we're being patient with Aussie. We haven't been trading it too, too much recently. But I have to say, um, this was a bit of a surprise. Aussie yen, choppy of late, but now kind of lining up for an old-fashioned break trade at 79 to figure. But today's a Euro day, so the focus will be Euro Yen and Euro Dollar. Uh, we wait for Draghi, and we see what he's going to say. Also of note, uh, check out the front page of the FT this morning. We got Janet Yellen talking about leverage and loan standards and bearish shit. Uh, this isn't going to help the mood. 
don't know why she's squawking about these things, but she is, and, and it doesn't help. And it's risk off. There's 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 no getting around it. I mean, Nasdaq four percent. That's a whammer. So that's that's about it for me. I'll hit you guys on uh, on Twitter with some more. Uh, singular ideas as the day goes but uh, core short euro and euro yen looks to be the way today careful short careful core short CCS careful core short good luck out there